Today I'm going to walk you through how to make a very simple calculator in C++. Here we are in Visual Studio, so I'm going to assume you have not too much knowledge if you're watching this video, so I'm going to walk, walk through uh, every step here. So you first you want to include IO stream, and we're going to use namespace studio. Here's our main function. So this is going to be a uh, a calculator that can do you know addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. So we're going to need uh, three variables. So we're going to call this. Uh, we'll do doubles. Double first equals zero. Double second equals zero and then double result equals zero. So the first thing we need to do is we need to get the first and second number from the user. And we also need to uh, get a string from the user, which is what they want to do. Do they want to add, multiply, uh, divide, or subtract? So we're going to call this string uh, op. So the first thing we're going to do is do a cout statement here. Please enter two numbers like so, and then we're going to see in those two numbers into first and then into second. Okay, let me just write return zero down here. Okay. So now we're going to uh, get this op operation, whatever operation the user wants to do. So see out what operation would you like to do? Actually, we should do enter the operation. Makes more sense. And then we'll type in op. Hmm. Oh, <laughs> of course, include your string. Yes, silly me. Anyways, so now we will get the operation. Um, we could be more clear here. We could say addition, subtraction. Or division. <clears throat> that way they know what to enter and this is the symbols we would check for them. So the next thing we need to do is check to uh, see what operation the user inputted. So to do this it's just a uh, simple logic statement if else. So if that much space. if op equals equals plus we'll do plus first. And then we're going to say result equals first plus second. And then we'll do else if op equals equals minus result equals first minus second. So on and so forth. So we can go ahead and just copy and paste this. Change this right here. And finally, else if it will be first divided by second. Save that. So to end this, else. Turn one C out error. So normally, obviously, if the user inputs one of these correctly, you will not see this last one. But I think it's good practice 
to just have this here just in case. We could just do else, drop this whole thing, and just divide the last result. But users make mistakes, so it's fine. So since there's no issues with running this, the last step we have to do is simply see out result with an inline afterwards. And this will output whatever is the um, operation that results. So we can, uh, let me go ahead and bring you to the command line window. So here we are in the command line window, and it asks, please enter two numbers as we typed, encoded. So we'll do one and two, and we will add them. And there you go, we get a three.